and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am back with a new SSO update and in today's update the Midsummer Festival is here. So if you don't know what the Midsummer Festival is, it's just a summer festival where we celebrate some old Eurovision traditions. So uh, in this festival you um, wear flower wreaths and uh, that's the thing on my head and what Jacques Lestar is wearing too and you can uh, play music here, you can picnic with your friends, all that kind of stuff. But sadly this is the last time we get this um, festival in summer because next year there is going to be a new midsummer kind of thing but it's not gonna call midsummer but now let's start with today's video okay so the midsummer festival is hosted by the Eurovic rangers and as you can see we've got a quest here what you also can see is that there is no one here it's only like um, almost 11 a.m. and there is no one on star stable as you can see ranger Mary Sol is hosting this midsummer festival so let's see what she has to say. If we already have to do all of the quests, I will not record that because I think everyone knows what these type of quests are. If I think they are new, I will show them to you, but I don't think there is anything new of quests here in the Midsummer Festival. Now let's see what uh, she has to say. Midsummer is when we celebrate the long days of summer with family and friends. The festival is beloved throughout North Europe. But nowhere is it more popular than here in Eurovic. This year's Midsummer celebration is being organized by the Eurovic Rangers and it's set to be Eurovic's biggest yet. We're almost set up, but there are a few more tasks left. Do you think you and your horse could help out? Okay. That's the spirit. There are three stations where my colleagues can use your assistance. Stanislav is in charge of raising the Midsummer Pole, or fire safety expert Ashley is in charge of the bonfire. Finally, I put Dylan in charge of setting up the banquet tables. With your help, the party will be begin in no time. Okay, so that are the three quests you have to do before the festival really starts. So I will do that off screen right now and then we can see what's more here. If you didn't know, this uh, festival is for non-star riders and star riders. Okay, so I've done all the quests uh, with all the uh, Jorvik Rangers and as you can see, it's yeah, it's not so empty like it was before. But now, we got a new quest with Ranger Marisol, so let's see what she has to say. Before you break out the sparkling juice, there's one last little detail that will make this a midsummer for Jorvik to remember. Can you guess? That's right, someone has to place the Eurovi Eurovision flag at the top of a midsummer pole. Okay, and we have to do that. You outdid yourself volunteering, which is why we think the honor of raising the flag should, you, should go to you. Here you go. Go ahead and climb up there, Isabella. You can do it. Okay, that's so scary. Okay, let's see what happens. There is a flag on top of the pole. Am I the only one that actually loves the music here on the Midsummer Festival? It has a very cozy music vibe or something. I always hear a little when I see the Eurovision flag wave. Even if you're not from Eurovic, any young lady with a love for horses can call your Eurovic home. We're all family here and that's why this is going to be the best Midsummer Festival ever. Now let's start the music and break out the banquet. Let the Midsummer Festival begin. Okay, so that was basically all the quests that yeah, we had with this festival. So now we can do all the festivities that you can do here. So let me show you around. So here around the pole, you can actually dance. I didn't know that, but um, as I go off my horse, you can, if you stand close, look, you can one, two, three, and then you can do this dance. And then you can also hear a other type of music. And then two is this one. I've seen this one in the trailer. And we have this one. Oh, oh is it the same? 
Oh, this is more with like a hips and this is more jumping up and down. Okay, we can go up on stage to perform. So what we can do is we can play on the instruments here on the stage. So this is a guitar and then you can do all different again. And then we can play on the drums too. Okay, we can also play the piano and I don't know if you can play this too. Yeah, we can. And this is again a type of guitar. It's not very different, so that's what we can do here too. And we've, we, then we can picnic with our friends, like here is the picnic. So here you can picnic with your friends and you can immediately eat here too. Okay, we can actually just sit here and drink early and forest dance. And uh, we can also sit there at the tables or at the bonfire or just sit here to look at our friends if they play some music on stage. Then we got this here. It's a kind of sleeping tent, I think. Oh no, it's a fishing point. Okay, it's a fishing point. Um, so here you can get a random re reward if you do that. So let's try that out. Okay, I'm fishing. Now let's see what's special. Oh, okay, what did I get? I got a helmet. So you can get all different type of things if you go fishing here. So if you do that every day, then you get a different reward every day. Then we also got that uh, thing there. So let's check that out. That's the sleeping tent thing I saw. Welcome to Midsummer Tent. This tent is said to sometimes grant whoever enters a vision of someone close to you, maybe even the love of your life. You will need to collect seven unique flowers before entering, however, and you will find them in hiding spots around the festival area. So to find um, seven unique flowers. Okay, I found seven flowers. That's great. Okay. You have found the seven flowers. Please enter the tent and await the vision. Okay, now we're gonna see any kind of vision. Let's see what happens. Well, why does it always have to be so scary? <gasps> oh, that's my horse. Ah. Uh. Such cutie. Okay, so we're in love with our horse. Then are uh, all the things you can do here. You can also go and see these shops. Um, so this is um, uh, this is um, stuff from last editions of the Midsummer Festival. Can... Then we get this shop uh, where we can find. I don't know what is always. <laughs> Here you can find the flower reds. I already forgot how to pronounce them. But you can buy them for only one simoleon, which... Simoleon? What? I'm not playing The Sims 4. One Jorvik Chilling. Uh, so that's actually great. That's... I uh, already bought these before I started this video because I read that on the news page that they only were one Jorvik Chilling. So yeah, they're both for horse and uh, your character and then we got this one and i know what, i don't know what this one is oh here are the get earrings but these are all the new ones i actually like this pattern on it uh, this is all new oh it's all new okay this is all the new stuff that's all here and of course you get this storage place where you can go easily to your storage so you don't have to go back to your home stable and there are photo booths also, today's week is a happy horse week, what means that uh, your horse has horse care. You get free horse care for a week from Star Stable. So maybe now is the time to train your horse. It's for me also a time that I train my horse because uh, I really have to catch up in my horses. And then we also got a free set from Star Stable. So I have to look out and come back when you have this set. But the code is feeling splendid. In Okay, so as you can see, I've got one, two, three, four, five gifts from Star Stable. So let's open them. So these are gloves, the boots, the I don't know what it's called, <laughs> the top, and um, what is this? Is it is it something else? Another top and a helmet. Model walking. Okay, sorry. 
Let's see in photo mode how it looks. It just looks like a regular top. Oh, oh okay. And the back, I do like the back with this, that it's so longer than before. It all matches really good. And then if you have a white if you have white pants, then it definitely matches with this. And this was it for today's video. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and also click that notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. I really would recommend you to go and follow me on Instagram because I mostly let my followers know what I will be doing and when a new video is up on that platform. So if you don't follow me on that, maybe you should. And with that being said, I will see you in the next update video. Bye!